tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter nay in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for this time of fellowship. God, use me. Kill Matt, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and you rise up. Let no flesh be glorified, but use me to give a word to your people to bring salvation, deliverance, restoration, and healing. And you'll get all the glory, honor, and praise. See, in Matthew's name we pray. Thank God. And amen. I'm going to talk just for a few minutes off the topic. Perfect security in the will of God. Here we are in the text, Paul is writing to the church in Rome, and he's encouraging the people to not lose faith and to not doubt. He reminds them that come what may, the love of God is yet with them, and that there is nothing that can stop that or separate them from that. Paul acknowledges the fact that in life, things are going to come. He tells them that, yes, life will not always be problem-free, and that pain and trials and tribulations may be inevitable. However, he ends with a message of hope. He ends with the fact that God love yet conquers all of whatever we may face. Now, this is way back Paul writing to the church in Rome. So let's bring it up and apply Paul's words to us in 2016. As we live in these last and evil days, we're dealing with problems that are much bigger than us. Our world is full of hatred, wars, racism, homosexuality, rape, perversion. We're dealing with things that seem to be out of control. We're dealing with mass numbers of people who say that right is wrong and wrong is right. We're dealing with everything twisted and everything perverted. And a lot of times as we listen to all the things that are happening, especially as young people and as we walk, we begin to walk in fear. Parents fear for their children, black men fear for their lives, women are fearing men, children fearing adults, and it becomes overwhelming and we begin to question things and we begin to wonder, what can we do? Where is God now? Why would God allow all of these things to happen and when will things get better? But I came to let you know that it's in times like these when we can find assurance in the book of Genesis chapter 18 verse 14, where it says, is there anything too hard? From the Lord. I come to tell you that no matter what you're going through, no matter what personal circumstances you have, no matter what you see going on in the world, no matter what you see on the news, God is still in control. And there is nothing too hard for him. John 1 and 12 says, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad to be a child of God. I'm so glad that he calls me his friend. I'm so glad to be connected and to be an heir of royalty in a crazy world. We need security, and that security comes from being in the will of God. Right. Yes, we're dealing with seemingly uncontrollable violence. Yes, everything seems to be going bad. Yes, it seems that Christians are beginning to be more and more oppressed, and they're attempting, he were attempting to silence us. Attempting to silence us. I don't know about you, but I won't be silenced. Right. Yes, it seems like everything is going bad, but as people of God, as children of God, I come to tell you that as long as you stay in his perfect will, as long as your life continues to line up with his plan for your life, you have nothing to worry about. You should have no fear because you can lay back and rest on his promises. So when you see your family and friends and co-workers going crazy, when you see people panicking over what they see, you can just chill out and say, you know what? No woman against me shall prosper. And he that works in the secret place of the most high for the battle of the shadow. If God be for me, who can be against me? I can't do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Look at somebody and say, calm yourself down and lay back on this word. So we know that because we are children of God, 
We know that because we're in his will, we must guard ourselves in this crazy world with righteousness and guard ourselves with the gospel and the truth in order to have security in Jesus. There is no way that we can survive if we're not filled up with his spirit. It's so easy to get filled up by everything else, to get filled up with the wrong spirits, to get filled up with diluted philosophies and opinions. There are so many people daily who come up with different ide ideologies and their own versions of the truth. They simply take the Bible and take out what they don't like and change it to make it sound a little bit better. Be careful of all of these preachers and prophets, you know. They say stuff that we like and we say stuff that tickles our fancy and they say stuff that makes us feel good and we're so quick to say, oh my gosh, she's so anointed. Oh, he has the have discernment. You got, that's why you have to have the Holy Ghost for yourself. So that you can have the discernment and the ability to know who's really speaking from Christ because Satan has prophets too. Uh -huh. yeah. yes, sir. We have witches and warlocks and devils walking amongst us in the church. That's why you have to have the Holy Ghost within you to be able to tell you to have discernment to know the difference. In order to make it in this world, you're going to have to empty out yourself of everything that's not like God. Realize at the end of 